Hello and welcome to Zentovania, a channel dedicated to Metroidvania games. In this episode, we're going to explore some fascinating philosophical aspects of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Join me and let us embark on this quest of self-discovery and enlightenment through the vast wilderness of Hyrule. Let's start by exploring the concept of Kantian Sublime. In his book Critique of Judgment, German philosopher Immanuel Kant introduced the idea that the sublime is a complex emotion, characterized by a mixture of fear and awe that arises when we confront something that's overwhelming in its beauty, power, and scale. Now, if you've played Breath of the Wild, you know that the game's open-world environment is one of its biggest strengths. From the moment you step out of the Shrine of Resurrection, you're greeted by a vast and diverse landscape that stretches as far as the eye can see. You can climb mountains, swim in rivers, ride horses, and explore ancient ruins, all at your own pace and direction. But what's really remarkable about the game's world is how it evokes the Kantian Sublime. Let's just think about it. When you climb to the top of the mountain and look at the valleys below, or when you cross a vast desert and see a sandstorm brewing on the horizon, or when you encounter a colossal dragon that flies over your head. How does it make you feel? There's this feeling of awe and wonder, but also a tinge of fear and uncertainty. That realization that we're just a tiny speck in a world that's much bigger and more powerful than we are. That, my friends, is the Kantian Sublime in action. But as we play, the game's sublime elements just keep on manifesting. Breath of the Wild features a dynamic weather system that can affect gameplay in various ways. When it rains, you can't climb as easily, and metal objects become electric hazards. When it snows, you need to wear warm clothes or light fires to avoid freezing. And when it's hot, you need to find shade or drink cooling elixirs to avoid overheating. All these elements add to the feeling of the sublime because they remind you that you're not in control of the environment and that nature can be both beautiful and dangerous. Another philosophical theme that stands out in Breath of the Wild is the power of memory. You see, the game's protagonist, Link, wakes up with no memories of his past and has to recover them by visiting various locations and triggering flashback sequences. These memories not only reveal more about Link's personal history and relationships, but also shed light in the game's lore and overarching plot. For instance, one of the most powerful memories shows Link and Princess Zelda standing on a cliff overlooking the Kingdom of Hyrule, while Zelda laments her inability to awaken her powers and stop Calamity Ganon. This memory is sublime because it combines both the beauty and the tragedy of the world, as well as the immense responsibility that Link has to undertake to save it. By recovering memories like this, the player gains a deeper understanding of the game's themes and characters and can appreciate the full scope of the game's story. To sum up, Breath of the Wild is a video game that offers a unique and immersive exploration of the Kantian Sublime and the power of memory. So whether you're climbing mountains, fighting monsters, or recovering lost memories, you're constantly reminded of the vast and awe-inspiring world that surrounds you, as well as the significance of your actions and choices. So if you haven't played Breath of the Wild yet, I highly recommend it as a gaming experience that not only provides hours of thrilling gameplay, but also leaves you with a deeper appreciation of the power of nature and memory. The game's stunning visuals and dynamic weather system will take your breath away, while the intricate puzzles and challenging combat will keep you on your toes. And, as you recover Link's lost memories, you'll gain a better perception of the game's stories and characters, adding even more meaning to your journey. And who knows, you may even discover something new about yourself and the world around you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed this and want to see more like it, please leave a comment in the section below. Your feedback means the world to me and it helps me to create content that you'll find valuable. I also want to take a moment to give a shout out to my great friend Christian March, whose blog post inspired this video. 
I highly recommend checking out his blog if you want to delve deeper into the themes explored in this video. And if you want to support Christian and his work, please consider using the affiliate link in the description below. By using the link, you'll not only be supporting Christian, but you'll also be supporting me and my channel. This is Entovania. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you on the next video.